There you go. See, that was a perfect example of a three. So I could not skimboard today, but I have a master at skimboarding with me, Mike. Hello. We're gonna try to teach some people some basics of skimboarding. Mike is the perfect person to teach us how to I skimboard. I hope so. I hope so. Are you ready, Mike? Of course, ready? of course I'm ready. We're just gonna quickly go through tricks, like how to jump on the board, how to shove, how to three shove. Basically, like from start to finish, after watching this next two minutes, people will know how to skimboard. Yeah, let's go. Okay, we're gonna start off with the very beginning, how to jump, how to run, throw your board, and jump and slide on your skimboard, called the run, drop, slide. Sure Are you thing. goofy or regular? I'm goofy. Okay, I'm regular, that's perfect. Then we can demonstrate the opposite way. I'm regular, right foot back. I have my left hand three quarters up the board, my right hand right in the middle. I do it the same way, just the opposite, to be honest. Opposite, there you go. How do you throw your board? You try to keep it as low as to the ground as possible, it will drop it flat, because if you drop it high, then the wind catches it and it goes flying off. If you drop it down, then it's gonna go into the ground and you're gonna hit your shins and you don't want that either. So try to keep it flat and drop it low to the ground. Yeah. yeah. It's really important when you throw it, to throw it right in front of you. So you could actually draw an imaginary line right in front of you. Of course, you can't forget the running part. That's pretty self-explanatory. You hold your board like this, you run. When you're ready to drop it, throw it in front of you. Don't throw it to the side. A lot of people tend to do that for some reason, but throw it straight in front of you. Jumping on your board. Yeah. Jumping is like a really, no one agrees on how to jump on a board correctly. Is it jumping though? I That's feel like it's thing. kind it's of not running. Even jumping. So let's break it down. Some people run on like this. Some people run on like this. Some people run on like this. Others even go on like this. That's the money drop. <laughs> it's difficult for me to advise one specific drop, but I believe the easiest is to jump on. Let's say slide on with both feet at the same time going forward. Yeah. Like this. So you throw the board, you run right behind it, you leap forward, putting all your weight and momentum forward. That's what's gonna carry the most speed forward. And you're gonna be in a very nice shoulder width apart balanced position. Like this. You wanna demonstrate it? Yeah, of course, of course. Let's go. Let's go. There you go. Okay, pay attention how when he jumped on, his back foot, the last foot touching before he jumped on, which I believe was his left foot, he put it right behind the board and put all his weight, he pushed off of that foot to get the most speed possible. It's really important to use that last foot as like a spring to get the most speed possible. Otherwise, you're gonna be running super hard. I see a lot of people doing this. They run, they run, they run, they run, as fast as they can, but then they jump on like this. But that jump is not, is not what's look. But that jump is not gonna make you slide further. You really have to put a lot of force onto your back foot. Yeah. It's already slide. One more for the people. Sure. Shove it. Shove? Yeah, maybe a shove. Let's show a shove it. And then we can teach how to do a shove. It's a pretty simple trick. I think people can learn shove it in one or two sessions. It's yeah. like a very, very classic easy. skimboard trick. I've seen people doing it first time. Yeah, right? There you go. Shove it is basically a rotation. The board turns in this particular shove it. It was a 180, so half the spin. So you jump. The board spins, half a spin under you, and you get back on. Pretty simple. What's your tip for the shove it? How do you do a shove it? It's just kind of kicking your back foot to the back behind you. Some people like to do it front side, so you kick it in front. It's kind of what you prefer. I like back side more. It's easier for me. Yeah. yeah. And it's, you it's... just use your toes. That's the most important part. And you create the most power. Yeah, true. So you basically use your back foot, you bend down, and then you jump up. But while you jump up, you do a kick back motion with your back foot, using your toe, pressing on the foam like this. Don't zoom into my toes too much, they're pretty <laughs> ugly. And this is why I can't skimboard, by the way, this big toe. So you should use the big toe right here, press down and kick it. And you don't even have to jump too high at all. You just kind of yep, put your knees up, look down at the board. It's really important to keep looking at the board so you know exactly when to put your feet back down and land safely. So you do that, and that's the 180 shove it, and then you can step it up and do a 360 shove it, which is... How about you show us? Kind of the same, but just kind of the bit same. Power. Double the power. It's double the power, but what you should really do is double the power in the kick, but don't power the jump. There you go. See, that was a perfect example of a three shove. As you can see, 
instead of kicking it like a, a maniac, he really pressured in those toes on the tail to get that nice spin using the strength of his toes. And he didn't jump very high. If you jump very high, the thing is, if the board, you can notice at the beginning, if it's gonna spin more than 360, you're too high up the board, you can't stop the rotation. So what you, ha you have to stay as close to the board as you possibly can. So using your toes to kick it relatively hard, and then do not jump too high. And as soon as you see the board is about to spin 360, stomp it down, bend your knees right away. Looks Pretty good. Simple. But yeah. three shove, don't be, don't be upset if you don't land it right away. It takes a lot of people a long time to learn how to three shove. A shove it is relatively easy, but a three shove, some people learn it quick. Yeah. I don't know how long it took you to learn it. It took, it took a while. Yeah. It took a while. Yeah. The front shove Same. Was, uh, shove was way easier. Same for me. I've it seen some people while. that skimmed like years and they don't have the three shove very, very yeah. often and very consistent. So don't get discouraged with the three shove. But once you have the three shove, you can move on to five shoves. And the coolest part is you can learn how to pop it and you can do it on ramps and obstacles and do different variations like three shove body varials, big spins. But I think I'm going to make a dedicated video for all these tricks because there is so much stuff I would like to teach, but such a video is, it's like, it would be a one hour video to describe everything, so. What about just a big spin? A big spin. Quick. I think he recently learned a very good big spin. Yeah. And I you have good tips for it. I think right, big spin is the, last, spin the last one. We're gonna let Mike describe I love, that. I love this one. Because I was actually helping Mike out a couple of months ago in Germany, he struggled with his big spins. And I, I, told, I taught him a very specific thing he should do with his feet to get it more consistent. So I'm curious to see how we've got it now. Yeah, go. Perfect big spin. Big spin kind of is a shove with a body varial, but you turn your body with the board. So if you do a backside shove it, you turn like this. Okay, Adrian told me the most important thing when you do a big spin, because I, at the beginning, just stood in the center. But if you stand here and you have your foot a little bit to the side like this, your body almost always rotates with your board. Yeah. So you don't really have to yeah, do the second part of the trick. You just can do a shove and your body kind of rotates with the board. Yeah. And for context, he's riding this way. Yeah. So basically his back foot is on the back center side. And the fact that it helps, if you do your big spin like this, your shoulders are in this way and you, you have to rotate in this direction. But if you put your back foot slightly angled like this, you can see my shoulder is going to open up and it's going to make it way easier to do that 180 rotation. So that's just like a, a secret tip to make the big spins easier. The actual motion is a 360 shove it and a body varial, but you shouldn't yeah. think of it that way. That's going to make it, it way more complicated. Like it feels more like a shove it yeah. and then a body varial. Yeah. What is your tip for a big spin? I know you have really good big spins. Shoulder rotation. I think that's like the biggest part. <laughs> Elaborate. Uh, you just, you go like this. <laughs> you basically kind of just nearly jump backwards onto the board and then, oh yeah, like when you run and then the last jump, you know, like you just... Ah, yeah, that's you, true. You to jump, jump on, on your like, board with... Like with the yeah, rotation yeah, 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 already, yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah, your legs straight and then... No, that's great advice. That's great advice. Yeah, great. I'll put this in the video. Oh. <laughs> no, but really, that's, that's yeah, amazing that's advice. Fine. Cheers. Cheers. But I think that's a short introduction on some basic but very very versatile skimboarding tricks once you have these tricks down you can pretty much do anything what something you're working on something something new something. flamingo flamingo oh yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah a classic flat land trick which is doing any shove it or any kind of trick landing on one foot and continuing the ride and then you can also do any trick out of that one foot rotation that's what I really like about learning shoves, three shoves, and flatland skateboarding in general, is that you can combine all tricks in a way. You can learn all the shove it rotations, but then you can apply it using one foot. So you go on one foot, back foot, one foot, and front foot, one foot, and then cross foot, and then switch. And then you can do all sorts of combinations. So even though in skateboarding, when you think of it, most of the rotations are actually, most of the tricks are shove it rotations. When you're skimboarding, it feels like there's so much more you can do because you can really add so many different elements to make it interesting, fun, and I believe very cool. Yeah. I think it looks really cool. It does look really, right? really cool. Yeah, let's, let's see it. It's all. Oh.